I will love you and have faith in your love for me through all of our years and all that life has to bring. If you know Liz, you know she hates calling people on the phone. She will text people all day long, but calling is a true fear for her. I remember the day she told me about Lewis. I was living in Los Angeles at the time, and she texts me, go look up this guy on social media. I'm dating him, and I think I'm gonna marry him. <laughs> For those of you who don't know me, my name's Danny. Uh, I've known Lewis since we were 11 years old. We uh, graduated elementary school, middle school, high school, uh, college roommates, first job out of college, first promotion, almost a second job out of college. I think that's finally when we left each other's nest, which I'm sure our wives are appreciative of that. Uh, but for as long as I've known him, I have yet to meet somebody that's more caring and compassionate. Uh, he's the type of person that is there for his friends and his family, the drop of a dime, without any questions asked. That's right, that's right. Lady, father's proud. I'm so excited. Nervous, but excited. I've loved having you by my side through the ups and downs, all of which have made today so special. I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with you by my side. All of the eternal weirdness, snuggle days, can we bring back Fat Kid Fridays? <laughs> and eventually puppies and beautiful baby boys. I have to say without a doubt, you are the weirdest human I know. You get, you get mad when I think you're cute. And I love that about you. Just remember, relax, calm down. <laughs> but really, I hope you're able to soak it all in today and enjoy all the love and attention from everyone we love and care about. Beautiful. shelter of the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be the warmth of the other. Now there's no loneliness for you, for each of you will be the companion of the other. You may be two bodies today, but there's only one life before you. Before all gathered here today, you made your desire to be husband and wife known by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, this circle is now complete. And it is by the power vested in me, by the Commonwealth of Virginia, and of course your love and devotion, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Louise, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Friends and family, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Louise Ferreira. Luis, I want to say welcome to your family. Chachi, his mom, Remy, his dad, grandmother, aunts, Alex, sisters, brothers. <laughs> You've got a wonderful family. You guys have a wonderful young son. I promise you that he's in good hands with Liz.
for those of you that don't know, my name is Nick and I'm the little brother, the upgrade if you will. Uh, <laughs> so for, <laughs> so Lewis is normally referred to as the golden child, but I like to refer to myself as the platinum child. <laughs> No, but in all, in all seriousness, uh, growing up, uh, Lewis has always been the perfect son, and I've mostly been the wild one. Uh, every time Lewis receives a phone call from myself, he's, his heart keeps a beat because he thinks I'm getting in trouble or something. But uh, I still look, I still look up to him. He's been such a huge inspiration on my life. I always look to him for uh, that fatherly or friendly advice. He's a great brother. He's a great friend. He's a great son. Um, I know my mom loves him very dearly. She's looking over at me right now. <laughs> but seriously, when I speak on behalf of the family, I think we can all say that we truly appreciate you and everything that, we, that you do for us. We love you dearly. Uh, Liz, you know that I've always been very fond of you. Uh, you're so genuine, kind, and warm-hearted. I really can't thank you enough for everything that you've done for us and the family. Um, anyways. <laughs> This has been a great night, and here's to a lifetime of happiness and love for Liz and Lewis. The bravest thing any human can do, ever do is give your heart over to another person, completely, without inhibitions, and hope with all your might that they won't break it. Liz did that in the summer of 2013. She threw caution to the wind and gave Lewis her heart. In this respect, Liz is 100% the brave one. I would say she is braver than most people when it comes to love. <laughs>